Hey guys, it's Katie. So I was really curious about what you guys wanted to see. So I went in store for the Nordstrom anniversary sale on Friday, August 7th, and they didn't have a lot of inventory to be perfectly honest. I went in fully prepared to do like a try on session like I have done in many years past, but they didn't really have a lot of inventory. So that meant that I didn't really try that much stuff on slash buy that much stuff in store. I, with my sales associate, just purchased a lot of things online, but which is great because I was actually able to get those things, but I'm sure it's going to take a while for those items to get here. And so uh, we're in years past, I've been able to tell you guys this fits well, this runs true to size, this is small, this is big, whatever, and tell you guys about like the material and if it's worth it or not. In my opinion, I wouldn't really be able to do that this year if I waited until all of those items arrived because as you guys know, with this sale, things sell out super quickly. And so I was like, okay, I can do that. I can like just tell you guys uh, or I can just wait until all of these items arrive and then I can do like a big haul for you or I can just um, tell you guys the things that I was able to pick up in store and then tell you what I purchased online without actually having it. A lot of you guys, I say a lot, like two people said, uh, yeah, do both. So I think I'm just going to do both. So today's video is just the things that I was able to get in store. And then I will tell you what I have purchased online and I'll show that stuff to you when it arrives. But uh, in my experience, especially during the anniversary sale and with COVID, the shipping for Nordstrom is going to be really slow. And so I don't have a lot of high hopes that I'm going to get all of those items in before they start selling out. But we can cross our fingers and hope. So I'm just going to tell you guys what I got in store and what I have ordered online so far. So I will start with the stuff that I got in store. So the first thing is this, uh, you can't really see it. I will put pictures up of everything right here so that way you guys can really see uh, what these items look like and I'll put the pricing information and all that kind of stuff on there as well. So this top, it's like a linen cotton top by Rails. Of course, you guys knew that I was going to get at least one Rails shirt. I do every year. I liked this one because I felt like I could wear it now, but also in the fall. It's a different material. So this is still a Hunter, I believe, which is the style. No, this is an Ellis style. Uh, so it's got a different material than your typical rails rayon shirt. This one is a, let me see if I can find it in here. Yeah, it's called the Ellis white. This is actually 100% cotton. So it's very airy. It is like see-through. I mean, you can probably kind of see my hand through that. So you're going to need to wear like a white tank top underneath this, but I just thought this was like a super chic thing to wear. You could throw this on over a bathing suit and a cute hat for the pool, or you could style, style it with jeans and boots in the fall and winter. So I thought this was really cute. I'm excited about that. I did get that in store. I got this for Kennedy in store. Um, this is super, super soft and fuzzy. I got it in the 18 month size just because it doesn't really get hot here for, or I'm sorry, it doesn't really get cold here for a while. And I want it her to, I want it to still fit her when it actually does cool down here. This was super cute. I think I'm going to get her some like moto leggings to wear along with this. And then, um, these are some lounger pants that I got in store. I really, I had these on my wish list, but I didn't think that I would get them because I told you guys, I don't typically get a lot of BP things because I just don't think the quality is really worth it. Now I will say that I wore these last night and I, I get so hot and when I sleep at night, like I'm a sweater. I don't know what, what I can say. These are like very lightweight. So even though they're pants and it's summertime, they're very lightweight, so they're not um, they're not going to be super warm, even you know in the fall and winter season. They're more of a lightweight pajama. I saw some reviews that said that uh, these pill 
really easily. Uh, and you can, I don't know if you can really see, but like you can, let me see. You can kind of already see like that's just the material. You know what I mean? Like the material is a very lightweight, thin, soft <laughs> fabric. So when they say it pills, I think that's just kind of like already what the fabric does or what it looks like. I, hopefully that makes sense. Um, but I did get them in this print and then I ordered the tie-dye print online. It does come, well it doesn't come as a set, but you can get the pants and the top to go along with it. But like I said, I get really hot in the middle of the night when I sleep. So I didn't get the tops. Uh, I am just going to wear like white t-shirts with them instead. But they are really comfortable and they, I don't know if I showed you guys the bottom, but they are like a jogger so it cuffs in at the bottom which I actually kind of like because then your pants aren't dragging along the floor or if I have to take the dogs outside real quick or something like that I don't have my pants dra dragging on the concrete and the last two things that I was able to get in store are two hats so I've been wanting this hat for years this is the Brixton uh I want to say it's the Wesley hat yeah it's the Wesley fedora and I got mine in the size medium and I just think it's super cute I wish that there was like a size between a small and a medium because like I can definitely like move my head around in here but I think if I would have gone with a small it would have been like super super tight on my head uh, but I think that this is just super cute and I love the color too the color is called coconut which I don't know, I guess that doesn't really look like coconut to me, but, and then I also got this one. This was not really on my radar at all, but I did see a lot of other people post about it, and then it kind of drew me in, so, I don't know, I just think that this is super cute, and I just feel like this will be really cute with, you know, dressing up a basic jeans and t-shirt kind of look, so, I did get both of these, and that was all I got in store. I did go to Sephora real quick, so I'll show you guys just the two things that I got at Sephora. Actually, three things, but the other thing was just dry shampoo. So I got this Summer Fridays Lip Butter, Lip Butter Balm. It has like a vanilla scent to it, and it's thick, but it's not too thick. I wore it last night, like before I went to bed, and then I'm wearing it right now over uh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. It feels really, really nice. And then I also got this. It's the Patrick Ta blush. It's like the the duo. It's the blush powder with the cream. And this is in the color She's So LA. So it is what I'm wearing on my face right now. I'm going to turn down these lights because they're a little bright. Now I'm going to go into the things that I've purchased. So I'm going to go into my account real quick. And these are all the purchases that I had to make online because they didn't have any of it in store, which was kind of disappointing. It was just, it was a very different experience this year, that's for sure. Although I will say it was really cool because we made an appointment with a stylist, which I've never done before. And we made it for 8.30 in the morning. And because we made it so early, we were in there before the store opened. So it was really nice. We got to like roam around and take a look at all of the items with nobody else in the store. So that was super cool. I would highly recommend making an appointment with a stylist like in the future. If even if it's not for the Nordstrom anniversary sale, even if it's just for like back to school shopping or like Christmas sh clothes shopping or something like that, then um, it was a cool experience. Okay. If you can hear her snoring, it's Sunny. She's sleeping next to me. Okay, I'm gonna go from like my most recent online purchases to what I purchased like yesterday, that day. So the first two things are these bras and I hate bras. I hate them. I hate a wire. I think it's the most uncomfortable thing to have ever happened to women. <laughs> I just, I, I want something comfortable and I've always worn Notori bras and they're really, really good bras, don't get me wrong, but they do have a wire and I feel like ever since I even found out I was pregnant with Kennedy, I immediately could not stand wearing a bra with a wire in it. So I've kind of been on the search for a bra that was like semi-supportive or at least something, uh, but that didn't have a wire and was super comfy. 
So I tried this on at the mall, at the Nordstrom yesterday, and I didn't end up getting it because I they didn't have my size, whatever, I just ordered it online. It's the True & Co True Body V-neck bralette. Now, this was so soft and so like stretchy and thin and seamless that I was like, I have to have this. I put it on immediately. I was like, I don't even care if this is the most unattractive bra ever. It feels so nice. So I bought it in the black and I bought it in the nude. Now, some of the reviews on Nordstrom say that the straps stretch out really easily or they, the straps stretch out, period. So I can understand that because it's not like one of those adjustable bra straps. It's just like a very stretchy, uh, supportive bra strap. So I could see that happening, but at the same time, I never dried my Notori bras, but I feel like I could dry these in the dryer. I would put it in like a um, lingerie bag and then toss it in the dryer and that would probably bring back some of that stretched outness just simply because they're so thin like there's no wire or anything that can get messed up in there so um, I'll report back and tell you guys what I think eventually or you guys can just reach out to me on Instagram and ask me but I'm very excited about those bras uh, I said I ordered those BP jogger pants in the tie-dye print and I found those to be true to size as well I ordered some new underwear, the Notori Bliss cotton French cut briefs, nothing really interesting there. And I ordered the BP Sleepy Lounge Tee. And I, like I said, I don't really order BP things very often, but when I'm just wearing a tee to go to sleep, then I don't really, it doesn't have to be like a super luxurious t-shirt. So I ordered two of those to go along with the jogger pants that I have, the star ones and then the tie dye ones that I ordered. This was like the thing that almost got away. I feel like every year there's something that I'm like, dang it, like I just missed it. Like I had it in my cart and then it sold out. And this was that thing, but I stocked it enough that I was able to finally grab it when it came back in stock. And that thing is the All Saints Ridley Funnel Neck Wool Cashmere Sweater. So I have a few All Saints pieces and the quality of them is always really, really nice. This sweater, they obviously didn't have it in store, which is why I had to order it online. But it just seems like one of those sweaters that I'll have for a really, really long time. And because of that, paired with the fact that it is cashmere, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll give it a try. It says run large, that it runs large. So if you want like a closer fit to order a size down. And so, um, I'm going to scoot over here so that way the uh, images can be on this side. It says to order a size down if you want a closer fit, which is um, what I did. So we'll see. I guess Meghan Markle wore this sweater not too long ago. And so that's probably why it's like flying off the shelves because I'm looking right now and it's already sold out again. But who knows? Like maybe it'll keep coming back in stock. I don't know. Next, I ordered a car seat. Like so fun, right? Uh, Kennedy, we bought her the Nuna Pippa when she was, well, obviously before she was born and that's what she's been using, but she's growing quickly. And so we decided to get the Nuna Rava and to our luck, it was on the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So we did purchase that, saved quite a bit of money. So we were excited. I buy one of these. Okay, so I bought another Barefoot Dreams blanket. And I wasn't really planning on it, but it's just such a good blanket. Like, I don't know. I always like, even with the AC going, I'll put that blanket, like I'm looking at it right now, the barefoot blanket that we have on our couch on. Uh, I keep one in Kennedy's nursery and, you know, snuggle with that sometimes. So I just wanted to have another one for when it gets chillier outside. So I did get, I was kind of contemplating between the plaid one and another leopard print one. And I ended up going with the leopard print one, but the plaid one is really cute. And I feel like that would be so nice looking for like the holiday season to have that out on the couch. I went with, I already have the, uh, it's like a linen, like a ivory color leopard with the, stone I, I think it might be called and this time I got the linen and the graphite so like the more gray colored one. Oh, I did end up purchasing those Vince boots 
when I went in store, they had the boots, but they only had it in the suede color. And so I tried them on for size. They are true to size. Um, so get whatever, like I always size up half a size for boots in general, cause I like wearing a sock. And so if you tend to like get your normal size that you always get for boots, if you're going to get these, they were super nice, super comfortable. Something about the pitch in the heel, like in the arch made it really comfortable, even though there is a little bit of a heel on them. I'm trying to see what the heel is. Like I never wear heels anymore. So any heel to me is a heel. It's a three inch heel. But I mean, I was walking around the store just fine with the suede ones on. They have like an elastic um, like piece. There's a part of it at the ankle that's elastic. And so it gives your uh, ankle a lot of like room, like wiggle room for stretch. I hate it when boots are too tight around the ankle and then it kind of digs in right there and you feel like you always have to wear like longer leggings with them in order to not get that. These, I feel like you can wear any pant with it, any dress, any whatever, and you're, they're going to be comfortable. So I can say that I recommend these even though I tried on the suede and I'm getting the leather. I just think it was a beautiful shoe and I feel like it's a shoe that I'll have for years. So I'm very excited to get those in the mail once Nordstrom decides to ship them. I ordered this Def Leppard tee. I love that Daydreamer brand. They make really soft graphic tees and they're super comfortable. So I just thought that would be cute with like some sneakers, leggings, little leather jacket in the winter when it gets colder. And then I bought these All Saints uh, Lyra hiker boot. I've been wanting some boots like this for a while and um, these are a little spendy but I thought that they were super cute and I liked like I texted my sister and I was I asked her you know are these cute or are they a little too like Anne of Green Gables <laughs> and um, she was one who was like mm, no you should get them so we'll see I haven't seen them in person yet but I am anxiously awaiting their arrival so I will let you guys know it says that they run large and that you should order one whole U.S. size down, which is kind of crazy. They only come in full sizes. I usually am like a nine and then sometimes I'll get a nine and a half in boots. So I just ordered the nine because I have a, I'm never an eight in boots, never a 10 in boots. So hopefully I'll be safe with the nine. Obviously I'm going to wear a sock with them, but I thought they were super cute and I really like the look. And then I also ordered this free people sweater. I'm kicking myself for not ordering it in two colors because now the other color that I wanted is sold out. So I, it's the free people afterglow mock neck top and I got it in the color lilac. I feel like that will be really cute with black in the like winter time. Uh, I do like that color and I never have, I don't wear purple like ever. So I was kind of switching it up a little bit. Uh, and then I have my eye on the ivory one. If it comes back in stock, we will see. Things seem to come back in stock, but it's like one sweater, you know, like maybe somebody returned it or canceled their order or something like that. So we'll see. And then I did order two of the Halogen Modal long sleeve shirts. I told you guys in my wish list video that I love these. I swear by them. They're like the best layering tees. They're thin. They're very soft, super comfortable. Um, you can wear them under cardigans, under jackets. They're just the best. Uh, I had somebody ask me on Instagram about sizing. So I always get a medium, but I will say that uh, like they're plenty long. You're not going to have to worry about it being too short, but I will say that the lighter colors are less forgiving in the belly region if you're trying to hide something there and they are snug. So if you don't want it so snug in that area, then you might want to size up. I have a black, it's like black with white stripes and like you can't see anything on that one because of the darker color. But I do have one in an ivory color and I haven't worn it since having Kennedy, but I can only imagine that it probably wouldn't be like the most flattering in my belly area unless I was wearing like high-waisted leggings or something like that. So just come, something to keep in mind. And the only other order I made for myself was the um, 
Caslon jacket. I told you guys I was interested in that leather jacket with the hood. The hood is removable, removable so if you wanted to take the hood off, then you totally could. I like it with the hood. I just think it kind of has a more like relaxed vibe to it. And if I didn't say it, it's a Caslon leather moto jacket. Uh, I ordered it in the size medium. It did say if you are in between sizes, order a size down. Um, I'm not really in between sizes. I'm pretty much always a medium, so I'm just gonna go with that. And then the last thing that I ordered was the Patagonia Furry Friends Fleece Hoodie for Kennedy. So I just think that this is adorable, and I think that she'll probably get a lot of use out of it once the temperatures start to drop. And that is all that I ordered. I am anxiously awaiting all of my items um, for them to arrive, but I will keep you guys updated on when that happens and I will share sizing my little mini reviews on and all that kind of stuff once I do get them in the mail. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you are shopping, have fun shopping. I hope you get everything that you want. If you're not shopping, totally get it. Maybe next year. And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.